have you been looking for ways on how you can improve your presentation and step by step how you can improve and create an impact with the sheets and the knowledge that you have then just stay tuned and while i'll be sharing with you the five steps on how 3d modeling can boost your architectural presentation so without the further ado let's jump on to the five steps and the step number 1 is you can capture your thoughts really very well when you actually model them now the thing is you know as a designer as an architecture student or an architect you know you have to design things that means you know you'll have to think about a lot of different solutions to a few problems that you might be facing while you're designing that stuff problems of your users problems of with with respect to the site with respect to the topic and a lot of different things now while you have those problems while you're thinking about them you might get a lot of thoughts running in your mind on how are you going to be solving them through your design now when these thoughts run into your mind it's really important that you capture those thoughts well because if you don't capture them they might just go away yeah you know like some some image that you see in your mind a short glimpse of some solution or some design element and it just goes away now to capture them you can definitely sketch it out okay but but in case if you're not good at sketching and even if you're good at sketching a block model or a digital model can be a really good asset for you because that one thing you know you can copy it whenever you want you can use it as a saved file and it can be used later on also for your design process or your development process right so the first thing is it could really be useful for capturing your thoughts okay just create a block model uh, which could be something like this on now this is something which i had done when i was in my third year so these were a different brief, uh, the, the, i'd got a brief and from that brief i created like different blocks and i just arranged the blocks on how i wanted uh, to create uh, like like according to my zoning pattern and this was a 3d zoning that i had done all right so the first thing is you can capture your thoughts then the second thing that we have over here the second point is you get a complete 360 degree view now when you have created a model okay even if it's a block model the thing is you get the power to watch everything you know from from all the possible angles for your design now uh, when you make a plan or a section it becomes difficult to understand how the elevation is going to be looking like when you're giving a section like this or when you have a plan like this how is going how the section is going to be taking place again a lot of students they come out with really good functional plan okay really amazing uh, you know the way of arranging the briefs but when you actually look into the elevation it's just a simple wall with just square windows placed and uh, very simple stuff yeah now the thing is it's very important that you need to be aware about for what plan for the plan that you've created how the elevation is going to be looking like or for the plan that you've created how the sections are going to be looking like and you can get this power once you have a complete model in front of you because you can actually rotate the model see what how it's looking from the back see how it's looking from the top front from all possible angles i'm not telling you to make a detailed model that will come later on okay but even if you make a block initially by by putting on some uh, some some form vocabularies onto that that's going to make a really good sense and it's going to give you a complete 360 degree view which will help you for your further designing and the thinking process also so that's the second point point number 2 let's move on to the third point which is easy design evolution now when you create a model you know maybe you create a block model at the initial stage then it gets improved after doing some redos and all and then you create the final model okay and, and maybe you have some other changes in between now the thing is you know because it is a file which you can save and which you can save as okay so so the first file that you create you just save it as and you do improvements onto the other file then you just save as that file and you do improvements onto the next file as and how you go about your jury process and as and how you go about your uh, submission you know uh, by while you're reaching your deadlines now when you do this you know what you have a lot of files a set of files which you can use in the later part while you are actually giving your final presentation for the design evolution process which could be depicted like uh, you could tell this was the form that i had at the beginning this is how it evolved later on as i made some changes this is how it further evolved and this is what i finally got okay so the complete evolution process could be displayed in the form of a story and when you're telling a story you know what people are hooked on to 
the presentation process because facts tell but stories sell and while you're giving your presentations you are actually selling your design yeah so this is the third point your uh, models the 3d models can help you with your easy design evolution process okay then let's move on to the fourth point which is easy understanding now while you're making your drawings you know when we have 2d drawings you definitely need them okay because without the drawings the construction can't happen yeah but even though you have 2d drawings you know the people like the clients or maybe the normal people who who don't have a knowledge about architecture or interior designing and all of those stuff they might not understand those 2d drawings well and always and because of that when you give a model you know it becomes easier for people to relate with what you're talking about yeah because when you have a 3d view it it just you know it's just understandable straight away okay there's there's no confusion right because humans are hardwired into looking into 3d forms every single day you know your eye it it gives you a complete 3d view you don't watch in 2d forms right so when you have a 3d form it becomes easier for people to understand and it's not just about the entire model but even when it comes to small details let's say it's a facade detail that you want to show maybe there's a bio wall that you want to show or maybe there's a construction process that you want to show you know if you have models showing them it becomes much more easier for people to understand that's the fourth point gives you easy understanding for your presentation that means people won't have confusion and people would understand because when you get a lot of thoughts it's not just about the thoughts that matter the knowledge that you have it doesn't matter how much knowledge that you have but are you able to convey that knowledge well and not just convey it well but in an easy form so that the other person can understand it well that's what matters yeah so it helps you with easy understanding the fourth point and the final point the fifth point that we have over here is you can create attention grabbing sheets because when you are able to put in a lot of you know 3d views into your sheets these are the things that instantly grab the attention of your viewer and and this is one part wherein you know what uh when you have attention grabbing sheets you know that is uh, that that is what captures and hooks your users onto your onto looking to your design and going about your design and even understanding your design properly and this would affect on your marks and not just marks but on the decision making process of your client if you're a professional and on your jurors if you're a student so it becomes easier to understand and it and and 3d models help you to create attention grabbing presentations so these are the five steps let me give you a quick review on this the first step is it helps you to capture your thoughts gives you a complete 360 degree view the second thing the third point it helps you with easy design evolution and and depiction of the evolution process the fourth is easy understanding people are able to understand it well and the fifth part is you create attention grabbing presentations and sheets So if you found this to be useful just type in useful in the comment box and uh, stay tuned and so that you and also yeah don't forget to subscribe and like this video so that you don't miss out any other informative videos from me in the future it was great to have uh, you watching this video till this end if you're watching thank you so much for staying till the end and let's meet in the next video until then bye bye and take care